What's up, everybody? Good morning, for me at least. Um, but hello, hello, welcome on in, everybody, to another Moonlight Blade mobile video. We're going to be covering the new weekly dungeon that came out over the weekend. Um, the Chao Tian Palace, is that what it is called? Chaos Tian? I don't know. We just call it the Chaos Dungeon, but. Anyways, so this is the first boss. I was told to make a guide just because some people are confused. Um, so just went in with a guildie and his friends just to help out. Um, and yeah, we don't actually have a tank. And I just found out mid-fight that Alistair has an alt in here, Pagano. So we're a little handicapped. Um, for this fight, the priority isn't the boss. And you'll see that I switch later. You have to kill all the swords. So I think after he summons the other two swords, I start focusing the sword. Yeah, I s <laughs> whoa, whoa, these crazy camera swings. All right, so we're going to focus down the thunder sword. And then we're going to do the Tornado Sword and then the other two swords. That's my focus. So this entire fight, just avoid those AoE swords that he spawns out and just focus down the swords. Once you take out all four of the swords, the boss's HP just drops dr drastically. So that's your focus for this dungeon pretty much or this boss. Honestly, all the bosses... As long as you focus their summons, you're pretty much going to kill them. That's, a, that's pretty much how it works. As you can see, my uh, teammate just brings the freaking tornado towards me. I'm like, bruh, stay away from me. So we got the thunder sword down, and now we're just focusing on the wind sword. Also, disclaimer or warning, um, some of the in-game sounds are muted. Just because uh, when I was recording this, I forgot to turn off my mic. So you can hear my relatives just talking. <laughs> and uh, I just didn't want that. So decided to mute it. So I believe the boss is invulnerable. So you have to kill the swords. The boss will not be taking damage right now. Yeah, Yanfei is just stuck at 17%. So the only way to kill the boss is to kill the swords. Okay, we got all swords down. And now we can burst down the boss here. Avoid the, the, the swords here. I thought I was safe, but that right sword just clipped me. So you want to distance yourself a little further. Honestly, with a new class on range, you're so safe from any danger. So that's the first boss. Um, we're going to do the second boss. However, we switched out Alistair's alt because we just needed the extra healing. Also because his alt... Uh, you know, <laughs> not really doing anything, so. We were pretty much formatting it. So now we're actually got someone that can help. So the second boss seems to be the most complicated for most people. People wipe the most on the second boss. Um, his phase two, he creates these wires, like these square wires. Um, whoever he's focusing, that line that just went above my head, um, that person needs to be on the outside so that whenever it shoots out the needles or throwing darts, it will, or, or knives, flying knives, it'll cut through the thread. That way we don't have to worry about where we're standing because if you're standing on the thread, you'll continuously take damage. So you see here, I'm getting ice gripped. That ice grip will never leave unless your teammates cleanse. So if they got the black plague um, effect on them, they need to stand in the green circle and press remove. They're not supposed to leave once they stand in the green circle. They're supposed to click remove, 
and then leave. Sometimes uh, when I when I started, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I thought you just stand in the green and then you're done. But you have to press remove first um, or else you just die. So very important to take note of. Um, otherwise, the person who has the cold grip, as I, uh, like wh what happened to me, uh, it'll stay forever until you die. So here I got the plague on myself. So I go into the green, press remove, and you can see there's like a red AOE right after you press remove. So you want to dodge immediately. Sorry, I'm talking in the game <laughs> or my mic. Uh, here, the puppets, there's a puppet that has a yin above their head and a puppet that has yang above their head. So it's kind of like the poison boss on Snow Cave Weekly Dungeon. So I got yin. I'm supposed to stand in the yin section. Um, my teammates did not go for Yang, so I have to actually type it here. Um, so look for Yang. It's the orange above the head. They finally did it. And uh, they're going to walk towards the Yang circle. And that's pretty much it. There's, there's not much else to this fight. Pretty much dies. And that was very, very quick. <laughs> so that's the second boss. Hopefully that helped. Uh, third boss, very easy. When I would did this with my girlfriend, it was just so, so fast. Whenever she spawns her puppet. Um, oh, here you just press escape. No, no biggie. <laughs> uh, whenever she spawns her puppet right there, focus down the puppet. Just focus her summons and you're, you're good to go. See what I mean here? Like because of my range, I don't even have to worry about pretty much everything. Like all the uh, skills are more melee based, like melee range skills. So again, two puppets spawned. If you don't kill them in time, they I believe merge together. I don't know because I've always killed them <laughs> before the timer. Maybe I should find out, but why why find out when you can just do it right the first time? So it's counting down. Once it reaches 10, it uh, goes sickle mode. So definitely kill it before it reaches 10. See again here, outside the range, just free hitting it, no problem. And we're gonna go for the second. Honestly, so far I've been liking the strategist a lot. I was able to really stay top DPS um, in most of my runs today. Unfortunately, Kokai is, is bodying me, but Swordsman always have top DPS, so I'm not surprised. <laughs> also, um, when you're fighting the summons, the summons do not um, count for your total damage because the total damage right now is only triggering for the boss or whoever your target so because i wasn't attacking the boss a lot and focusing objectives my total damage got nerfed anyways so we're on the final boss i was on a tangent final boss is probably super super chill at least for range he has some crazy melee stuff but it doesn't really affect me um when he goes here outside the barrier you're looking for the low kiss these little circles outside and then you just teleport in uh, this red circle a barrier around him is just super armor um, you can see underneath his health bar there's like this yellow bar it's just shield it's just pretty much shield health so you're just supposed to keep attacking until the shield health breaks that's pretty much what it is Pretty uh, straightforward. Once you do that, he's gonna do some crazy dashing skills, which is really cool. I like his skill effects a lot. He's about to do it. Oh, oh you can see he, he plants red circles. Just avoid red circles, come on. Everyone knows to avoid red circles. <laughs> no biggie.
damage increase. Oh, that, that scale is so badass. I love it. And then we're just chilling. He's going to do the uh, jump in the middle skill again. And then we're going to have to look for the new circle. So with that, we already did Locust 1. So uh, we did Locust 2 there. It was false formation. So Locust 3 it is. And you teleport in. And then rinse and repeat until it's until he's dead pretty much he does like this last ditch effort skill luckily i was out of range but i think it killed one of our our members here he's gonna do like two uh circles on the ground and it fucks up uh pandita if i remember correctly that's not the one i'm talking about just avoid that though <laughs> badass skill again Really love it. And then I think it's about here. Yeah, he spawns two red circles. He Alistair dodges into me. I'm like, what the fuck are you? <laughs> yeah, Pandita is just dead. Oh, almost dead. Kokai is almost dead. So avoid those. Dodge at the last second. Don't dodge too early or else you're fucked. Dodge how I dodge pretty much. And then Prince Yu was making a final stand there, but if you kill it fast enough, you wouldn't have to worry about it. So that's it. That's that's the, that's the dungeon run. Hopefully you enjoyed.